What is up guys, welcome back to another live in the Sun and Moon UU Alpha tier. Today we are using a team inspired by the Token Minorities, if you don't know them, check them out in the description down below. They are run by, well the channel is run by TTM Jolt, uh, Togovoir, all a bunch of people from the NPL basically, uh, their crew. And uh, this is a team that uh, Trev made. Um, if you don't know Trev CL, he was our opponent in the, in the GPC, the Atlanta Braviaries, and he made this team. It's really, really good, uh, really solid team, awesome team building uh, on his end. Uh, and in fact, it's gotten me to number 10 on the ladder. Uh, so that's actually really cool that we're up here. But uh, I saw them use it on a video, and it's uh, it's a really cool team with um, Swords Dance, Rock Polish, Necrozma with, uh, with Edgequake, uh, Char Standard Charizard Y with Dragon Pulse, uh, Serena with, uh, again, it's standard set, Tropkick, U-Turn, Rapid Spin, and Synthesis, even better in the Sun, of course. Uh, this core right here is fantastic, like, it's amazing. Uh, Alolan Muck with Assault Vests, just able to break down walls with Knock Off and Gunk Shot. Also trap in Psychic types, which the team doesn't really like dealing with, other than Jirachi, which is a Spadef set, Iron Head, Wish Protect, Stealth Rock, and finally Salamence with Outrage, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Iron Tail, Choice Scarf. I don't know if they have Iron Tail. Uh, I know three of their moves, but I don't know the other one, so I didn't get a chance to see uh, Trev team I'm gonna ask him after this live or tomorrow or whatever but uh, we are number 10 right now that might make it a little bit difficult to find a game unfortunately but uh, let's let's see what we can do with this team if we can make it up to number one that would be fun fantastic I don't think we can because of our score right now uh, but we can jump into fifth really really easily which is insane uh, we can pass this guy we can even pass this guy we, we can end up by the end of the episode we can end up top three in UU so let's try to make that happen uh, my opponent has a very obnoxious team, but it's something that gets broken down pretty easily with rocks up. Like, his defogger is, um, is this thing, Scizor, um, which gets destroyed by Charizard. So, as long as I can pursue Trap his Blissey, I'm pretty much good to go from there on out. So, let's lead off with Jirachi, as he chooses to lead off with his Blissey. Uh, we are going to go for Stealth Rocks turn one. We're not messing around. We're getting him up. We're going to make it extremely hard for my opponent to maneuver. And there it is. He's going to go into Quagsire. Awesome. Wish I had Energy Ball right about now. Uh, but I'm going to go out into uh, Muck because I can't be poisoned. And he's going to go for a Scald, actually. Okay. I have a Serena, but that's cool. Uh, I don't want this thing to get burned. So I'm just going to switch out into Serena directly. And then we're going to U-turn out on whatever he wants to go into. Uh, he's going to go for the Earthquake. Awesome. He's not going to want to stay in on a Grass move. So I'm going to go for the U-turn right here. Uh, if he goes out into Scizor... Uh, I'm going to go out into Charizard Y, and I'm going to double out directly into my Muck. So that's what, exactly what's about to happen right now. He's not going to sack off his Scizor. This is pretty much his only way to get rid of the rocks, which are keeping him from being able to play correctly. Uh, so I'm going to double out into Muck on his Blissey. Pursue Trap it to weaken it, and then we'll go from there. Or I might even just go for Knock Off, honestly. Uh, that might be a pretty good play. Uh, yep, actually, I am just going to go for the Knock Off right here. Um, Pursuit Trapping this thing is cool and all, but, like, if I can get rid of an item on anything on his team, that's already really good. Like, Black Sludge, Leftovers, anything. Uh, as he's gonna go back into his Scizor, this doesn't take a knockoff too well. Uh, it's gonna take 35% from that, and I'm assuming he's gonna go for the, uh, for the, uh, Roost right here. So I'm going to go back into Charizard right now, as he's going to go for Roost, exactly, beautiful. And now I'm going to double back into Muck on his Blissey once again. And this time we're actually going to pursue Trap it. So let's see. There's the play. There's the Blissey. And this time we are clicking Pursuit. We can we have a chance to get a Poison as well because of Poison Touch. I should be able to break down this stall re relatively easily with this team. It's really, really good. And uh, he's going to switch out. He's going to take 35% from that, which means now he no longer switches into a Fire Blast if I keep Rocks up. So how do I keep Rocks up? I do not. <laughs> I go into Charizard. Uh, I think Blissey still dies because it's not Eevee Light, right? So he's going to go for the Defog. We're going to go hard for the Fire Blast. Let's see how much it does to, to Blissey, actually. I know it does 30-ish to, um, to Chansey, which has good Spideff as well. So we'll see right here. He's going to go out into uh, Quagsire, actually. He's going to take a huge Fire Blast right here. No, he's not. Okay, we're going to miss. And we're going to go for another Fire Blast because I expect him to switch out into Blissey so he can get recovery. Let's see what he does. He is going to... Switch out into Blissey. There it is. We're going to hit it with a Fire Blast, and that's going to do 36%. Beautiful. And now another Fire Blast will kill from here. So he can't even do the switch shenanigans because Solar Beam is going to do some damage too. And uh, there goes Blissey. Awesome. So now Charizard has a much easier time wall breaking from here on out. Um, Weavile is still a very scary Pokemon, and it's about to come in right now. Uh, I'm going to go hard into... 
What don't I need this game, actually? Let's see. He's definitely banded. I know he's banded. I've played this team before. Uh, I think I don't need Muck, right? Now that it's done its job. Yeah, let's go into Muck. And he's going to go for the Icicle Crash. That's Yeah, that's definitely banded. Uh, we're going to go for the Shadow Sneak. Because we'll be... Actually, you know what? Let's go into Jirachi because I know he's banded. As we'll be able to take an Icicle Crash just fine. And we will be able to go for the Stealth Rocks right here. Which will limit his switch-ins to Weavile. So, that's really nice. He has to go hard into Scizor right here. Basically, there we go. There it is. Uh, does this thing still have its leftovers? No, it doesn't. Okay, hold on a second. Let me go for a Wish. Right here. As he's going to go for the Defog, which is fine. And uh, we are going to go for Stealth Rocks, I think. Again. Because, like, his only play here is either to U-Turn or to Roost Up. Let's see what he does. He goes for the U-Turn. Awesome. So my Rocks are back up. His Scissor has to come back in on them. So that's really nice. Uh, here comes... Okay. This thing. Interesting. Let's go into Tarina. Uh, he might double back into a Scizor, which would be a, a fantastic play on my opponent's part. Knowing that I wouldn't go into Zard. Or would I? Huh. You know what? Actually, let's go into Zard. Let's get up the sun. Uh, as he goes for a Scald, which is not going to hit us too hard. He can't burn us either. And I can actually just go for a Solar Beam right here. I have no reason not to. Uh, nothing wants to switch in on Fire Blast, so we can knock out this Quagsire, and now nothing, zero, switches in on Fire Blast. So, um, I'm curious to know if a Pursuit from this thing, Weavile, that's not how you spell Weavile, there we go, All Out Attacker, Choice Banded, Pursuit, versus Charizard Y. Charizard, where are you? Charizard Y. Uh, Pursuit, knockoff does this much. How much does Pursuit do? Uh, yeah, I can kill. And I think that's what he's going to go for. So actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to... Well, if he goes for Pursuit, and as I switch out, then I get to go into Serena. I get to U-turn. But how do I break the Scizor is the question. Yeah, I'm going to go for Pulse. He's going to go for Crash. Okay, good play. Um... Except now we can go out into, I think Muck is my, no, Muck's not my play. I'm going to my play, right? Yeah, let's go to Krasma. And we're going to go for a, uh, we're going to go for a Stone Edge. His Unaware Wall is gone as well. So this is nice. He's going to go out into Scizor. Cool. He's going to take a, a hefty Stone Edge. And we're going to go for Swords Dance. Because if he roos, if he defogs, then he, his Scizor is dead. And nothing can switch in on my, uh, my Necrozma anymore. He's going to go for a Roost. Awesome. We're going to go for the edge. We have a chance to um, to crit this thing, of course, because it is Stone Edge. I need to heal up my Muck, potentially. We do get a crit, as he's going to go for the Defog. And now we can just very easily go for the Earthquake. It hits everything on my opponent's team. Uh, and we have a good amount of attack. So it's basically like a Stab Earthquake from, uh, from Landorus right now. So, like Lando T. Yeah, it does suck. I'm sorry, man. Like... Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. There goes, uh, there goes Scizor. Um, I think Necrozma is bulky enough with absolutely no investment as well, just so you guys know. Um, Weavile versus Necrozma. Necrozma, knockoff. Give me an item. Give me an item. Give me leftovers or anything. It doesn't matter. Expert belt, uh, banded, but give me prism armor. Is it, in, is it in here? No? Okay, let's, let's get filter in here. Filter... Uh, he's still gonna knock me out if he's banded. So, let's switch into Muck, I think. Uh, yeah, Muck is my play. As he goes for the knockoff, that is gonna knock us out. However, now we get to go into Serena. And we get to go for a U-turn. Which, if he stays in, that's great. Uh, because then Mens gets to come in. We should still be good to win this, actually. Uh, in comes this thing, alright. Cool, cool. Uh, we'll go into Rachi, and uh, I need to get back up my rocks, because I need to limit the uh, the Weavile from coming in repeatedly. He's probably going to go for Spore, it's fine. Uh, and if he goes for Spore, I'm going to double out into uh, probably Necrozma, I think. Or Serena. Let's go Necrozma, because now he can't do anything to me. He might go Slowbro here, I'm not sure. 
Let's see. He goes slow, bro. Okay. Good play. However, you still need to scald burn me. And... Yeah. That's literally all he can do. I'm gonna go for Swords Dance. He is uh, Mega Slowbro, of course. He's gonna go for the Call Mine. That's fine. I'm just gonna go for another Swords Dance here. As long as he doesn't get the burn, we're fine. That's that's all I need to happen is no burn. And then Ments can destroy him. Uh, let's see. Scald. There's the burn. Oof. Alright. So I guess that makes up for the crit. For sure. Uh, he has a much higher chance of burning me than I have of critting him. Good news is, uh, with burn this generation, he can't just, like, uh, soft boil, or soft boil, hello, uh, slack off spam. We're gonna go into Serena here, and we're gonna go for the Trop Kick. Uh, if he switches out, he no longer has Regenerator, which is cool. Uh, Trop Kick is also gonna do a good amount of damage, uh, regardless of, uh, him being a Mega Slowbro. He's gonna take some, he's gonna take a hit right there. He's gonna go for slack off, okay. Alright. Uh, let's keep going for Trop Kick. Like, I don't, I don't have another play at this point. <laughs> I gotta do this. Uh, I could also try to flinch him down with Iron Head eventually. Uh, I don't know how well that's gonna work. Um, yeah, let's go for U-turn. I need to wake up my Jirachi as soon as possible. And here we go. Let's go, Rachi. Yeah, this thing is a problem. Kind of regret sacking off uh, Charizard Y now. I didn't think he would go for Crash, honestly. Uh, let's just click Protect because it doesn't matter. We have to stay asleep for this turn. As he's gonna go for a Scald, okay. Alright, let's go for the Wish. Hopefully we wake up. That did 40. Actually, let's go for Protect first. Because I need my... Uh... Okay, no, he's just going to sit there and Calm Mind, alright. We're gonna go for a Wish. And, uh, how do I beat this thing? Hmm. Interesting. He's gonna go for a Scald. He does get the Burn, alright. We're going to go out into Serena now, because we don't have a choice, because he got two burns on Scald. Fantastic. The only two he's gone for. Um, yep, the... Uh, wait. No, he's gone for four, but like two of them were times that he couldn't burn me. Uh, Alright, so I need to just keep Trop Kicking here. Like, there's nothing else I can do. Literally. I just need to keep going for this move. As he's going to go for the Psy Shock, that's going to do way too much. We're going to go for another Trop Kick here. Actually, I'm going to go for Synthesis, predicting his Slack Off, because he's going to want to be at full, uh, in case Mints crits him or whatever. Here we go. There's the Slack Off. Beautiful. Let's go for another Trop Kick. Like, there's, there's nothing I can do here. I have to stall him out of Slack Off somehow. I don't, I don't think that's going to work. Uh, yeah, no. This is not going to happen. Trop kick again. I mean, good news is he has to keep slacking off eventually. If only I was max attack, <laughs> this would be doing way more. Like 30. Like, not 30, but like 37, 38. There's the last, uh, there's the last call in mind. Alright, we need to go for Trop kick again. And, uh, yeah, no, there's no way I can break through this thing. This is a super effective attack, and it's only doing, like, 25. Uh, yeah. We gotta just go for Chop Kick. How much did his Psy Shock do before? 75? So I think he knocks me out now. Probably. Let's see. Does he go for another Slack off here? He's down to 12, so he still has way too many. Mega Bro is an issue. Yeah. Tell me about it. This thing should not be down here. It's ridiculous. It's, t it's too crazy. And the fact that he got rid of my Charizard was really annoying. Um, yeah, I'm not even gonna... Yeah, no, this is this is over. Alright, so we lose that one. Okay, we, we lose our placement on the ladder. However, we I was really just trying to keep it. Uh, there's Fizz. Uh, where is your boy? There I am. Okay, 1480. It's not too bad. Why do I lose, like, 23 points but only gain 12 at a time? That's what I don't understand. Like, it shouldn't it be equal, roughly? I don't get it. Anyway, um, team is still very strong, guys. Uh, I just misplayed that completely. Okay, uh, Victini's Therap. <laughs> Final Gambit crew. Um, I like... I like Muck. I also like Necrozma as a lead. You know what I like the most, though? Hmm. Yeah, I like Necrozma as a lead just for Victini. 
As he leads off, what's the Raptor? Okay. All right. Um, I'm still gonna go for Stone Edge regardless. He's gonna go for U-Turn. I have Prism Armor, so it's not too bad. We do take that relatively well. I'm um, assuming Fortress or Empoleon are coming out here. So then we'll be able to go for Swords Dance. There's the Fortress. Awesome. Uh, as he's going to do what now? Do what, what, where? Uh, I'm gonna Swords Dance up. And then we are going to go for a... Uh, I don't know what yet. <laughs> because he went for a Volt Switch. So he's gonna go out into Gengar. Um, can you knock me out? Hold on a second. Gengar, Life Orb Attacker versus Necrozma. Even with Filter? Yeah, okay, you can. Wow. Um, I'm gonna go out into Muck, because I take a Shadow Ball very easily, and then I can Pursue Trap this thing, and it'll be gone for the rest of the game. Awesome. And there we go. Goodbye, Gengar. Awesome. No more Gengar to deal with. Uh, I think Victini's coming in here. No, nope, it's gonna be Empoleon. Interesting. Um, very interesting. I'm going to follow suit and go into Jirachi on this and get up my own rocks. Because now he's going to have a harder time switching out. Uh, he's going <laughs> to roar me right into Serena. Beautiful. Let's go for the rapid spin and get rid of these. As he is going to do what? He's going to go for a knockoff. Okay, that's fine. Start going for Trop Kick, weakening this thing. Because if he goes for rocks again, I'm just going to rapid spin them away again. As we're going to get out a nice amount of damage off there. He's going to go for Scald. He is going to burn me, unfortunately. Um, I have to keep this then. I think I have to go into Necrozma here. As he's going to go for his rocks again, that's fine. We're going to go for an Earthquake, because I think he's going to feel like he's free to roar. Yeah, there we go. And we crit the Empoleon. Wow, crazy. Uh, I need to find an opportunity to Rapid Spin, because I need to get my Salamence in to sweep this game. That's the only way I win, is if I weaken the Fortress enough uh, so that I can sweep with Outrage. Let's see what he does. Uh, Chestnut comes in. Okay, that's fine. Um, doesn't that allow Serena to come in? That does allow Serena to come in. Beautiful. Please don't be like something crazy. Okay, there's spikes. Uh, we're going to go for the rapid spin again. There we go. And spikes don't hurt me as much as stealth rocks do, luckily. So, uh, if he allows me to rapid spin right here, it means that I can... Okay, he's Rocky Helmet. That's fine. Just gonna go for another spike. Now I can go into Zard. Uh, actually, there's no point in not synthesizing here. Because I'm gonna die to the spike anyway. There we go. And now we are going to synth up again. As he can't really do anything to me. As he goes out into his Staraptor. Now he can do something to me. <laughs> uh, let's go out into uh, Necrozma here. Sack it off to this thing's Brave Bird. It will kill Serena. I don't care how physically defensive this thing is. It's gonna die. Uh, Twist the Raptor, Brave Bird, for sure. There's there's no doubt about it. And uh, good news is that then I can go into Salamence and start spamming like Earthquake or something. He's going to go for the U-turn, actually. Okay, so he's just going to let his Staraptor take more damage. Fantastic. Um, from the Stealth Rocks, I mean, of course. As he goes out into Chestnut, that's fine with me. He hasn't revealed anything uh, too worrisome yet. Let's go Zard. Let's go Zard on this. He goes for the wood hammer. Perfect timing. <laughs> I, I, I call it a prediction, folks. Let's go for the fire blast. Something is dead right here. Except for Victini. For oh, Fortress. Okay, beautiful. Please die. Please hit. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. There goes his rapid spinner. Uh, and our Zard is still here. And it's still at 85%. In comes the Raptor. Like I said before, I'm just going to try to sack off Necrozma. As he goes for the double edge. Beautiful. That is going to allow for possibly Serena actually to come in um do I just want to sweep with Mence now no we're gonna go Jirachi and we are gonna click Wish uh and then if he goes Victini that's fine he goes Chestnut awesome and we are going to switch out into Charizard right here and then just pick up another kill essentially as he goes for Roar okay this thing has Roar too that's fine um I'm just gonna go right back out into Zard as he goes for Roar again. Alright. So what I'm going to do now is Wish. And if he Roars me into Zard at any given moment, then he loses his Chestnut. He's going to go for Spikes. That's fine. We're going to go for Iron Head here. This thing has a Rocky Helmet. It doesn't have Leftover, so I don't mind this at all. He's going to go for Roar. Does he get Charizard? No, he gets Serena. Okay, that's fine too, because I can just Rapid Spin all this crap away. 
and that should be okay. I have the wish core, like there's nothing there's nothing he can really do about this. He's gonna go into Victini, that's fine because I have a not a counter, but I have a response to this in Salamence if I choose to go into that. Uh, and then I can just bring in Muck after and Shadow Sneak. I could just go into Mence and Earthquake on the following turn. Um, yeah, let's go to Mence. I should be able to take a V Create, no problem, especially with the minus one attack. Why am I minus? Why am I Intimidate? Wait a minute. It's supposed to be Moxie. <laughs> okay. Well, glad we found that out now. Um, he went for a Glaciate, which begs the question is he fully special? Because if he is, he's about to get Pursuit Trapped right here. And he's going to lose his Victini. But he goes for the V Create. He's still going to lose his Victini, though. Because <laughs> he's Life Orb. Goodbye. There we go. And now all that's left is that Staraptor, which doesn't beat Jirachi in any universe. So in comes Staraptor. I'm just going to go for the knockoff, actually. If he goes for the U turn, then cool. He goes for double edge. That's fine by me. We're going to go out into Jirachi. We are going to click Wish. Double Edge should not be able to pick me off at all. And he is going to go down to 1%. And we are going to go for the Iron Head right here because there's no reason not to. And he's going to forfeit. So that gives us back uh, 15 points. We're back to 1495. Uh, where was that roughly? Uh, right about here. Okay, that's cool. Let's get one more. We're at 21 minutes with only two games. Kind of slow pace, but... Honestly, guys, I, I played two games before uh, I started recording and won both, so I guess we're 3-1 and one with the team. Let's take it that way, and uh, yeah, no, it's, it's really solid. I just, the only set I'm, I'm curious about is Necrozma. Like, what was this supposed to do in, in UU? What was it supposed to accomplish? Like, I like Edgequake, I like the idea, but Trev, if you want to explain this to me, um, what, the, what the luring mechanism is for this, I get Charizard Y. I get Empoleon, I get a couple of other Steel types as well that should be able to switch in onto this thing. But once you reveal the set, it's it's like completely useless. So I feel like something better could go here. Like a Dark, like a, like a Weavile switch in. Because uh, we have a Keldeo switch in in Serena, we just don't have a Weavile switch in. And if this was like, I don't know, a Keldeo of our own, we'd have a Fire, Water, Grass core going on. We'd have the makings of a Fairy Dragon Steel core without the Fairy. Actually, a Zoomeril wouldn't be bad here. Huh. Or even Primarina. Yo, I might put Primarina on here instead of Necrozma. That might be really cool. Alright, he's got a Bibberol. We gotta watch out for that. I can't believe I just said that. We actually have to watch out for Bibberol, guys, because it's a very, very scary Pokemon. Um, with Swords Dance, it goes up to plus four instantly. Let's lead off with Jirachi. I f actually, I feel like he's gonna lead off with his... Uh... With his Terrakion. Let's lead Necrozma. Here we go. There's the Terrakion. Beautiful. Uh, give me the Earthquake. What are you going to go out into? You're going to waste your... Uh... This thing's probably Focus Sash. That's why I wanted to do this. And I didn't want him hitting my Jirachi for free. Because that thing is going to be very useful in a second. But uh, this looks like... It's Hail Offense, that's for sure. He goes into Latias. Did he predict Earthquake? Does he know the team? He must know the team. I'm gonna go out into Jirachi. It's pretty safe. Uh, he doesn't have anything that immediately, like, completely scares it, which is nice. Um, unless he's HP Fire on this thing and, like, Life Orb, but even that. Uh, he's gonna go for Draco Meteor and miss, unfortunately. Uh, but we are gonna be able to get up our Stealth Rocks right here. And, uh, and that'll break the Sash, which is really cool. What does he go into here? No, he just stays into Draco Meteor, gets a crit, makes up for the miss, I guess. Uh, and we are going to go for the Wish. Because if he goes for the Fog, then I can just set up my rocks again. He goes into Slowbro, that's fine with me. Unless it's Mega. <laughs> then it's not so fine. Um, would you just Scald here? Huh. This probably is Mega. I can see that. Let's go for an Iron Head. Okay, good. He's Mega. Alright, so we know we need to keep Zard. There's... Oh, God. <laughs> he started already. Uh, Alright, let's go for the... Uh, switch out into Muck. Immediately. Uh, I need to try to get get a Poison on this. Like, ASAP. Uh, knockoff is still going to do a decent amount because it is a Muck. 
Uh, so we do get the poison, fantastic. He's gonna go for Scald. We are a self vest, we're able to take it. He does burn us though. I'm gonna go hard into Charizard on the Slack Off, is what I'm expecting to come my way. There it is. And now we can go for the Solar Beam. It's still gonna do a decent amount to this. And I'm gonna be able to take a Scald, no problem. Here we go, there's the Solar Beam, it's gonna do 47%. There's the Psy Shock, almost kills me, not enough. We're gonna go for Dragon Pulse here, predicting the Latias. Uh, yeah, we double down there, actually. I didn't kill him with Pulse, okay, it's fine. Slowbro is dealt with, I didn't need Zard anyway this game. It would've been nice for getting rid of the weather, but I think I'm okay. Uh, we're going to head out into Necrozma now. As he goes into Ninetales, beautiful. Alright, let's go for the... Stone Edge right here. Let's try to knock this thing out. He goes for Aurora Veil. That's fine. He's going to live, but he's at 25% now. So I'm going to go for the Rock Polish. And that'll make us faster than his uh, Sand Slash as well. So that's great. Uh, we're not going to be able to hit it too hard immediately, but he's going to go into Terrakion. I'm going to go for the Swords Dance. And if this thing is banded, I don't, don't think it can knock me out with, uh, with Stone Edge. We're going to go for the uh, Swords Dance right here. And he's going to go for the Stone Edge. There we go. Not enough. And we're going to go for the Earthquake right now. As, uh... We're in a pretty good spot, actually. We're going to knock out the Terrakion. Fantastic. That was enough damage to take it out. I'm still scared of the Bibril, guys. Don't get me wrong. It's still there. Uh, in comes Latias. I'm just going to SD again. Like, what do I lose? If he goes for Draco, it's fine. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool with me, man. That's alright. Um, his Fairy is dead. I just need to wait until the... Uh, the Aurora Veil goes away. I'm going to go into Muck, and we are going to click Knock Off, because he doesn't take me out with Draco. I'm under the impression that he's, like, Choice Scarfed. Um, yeah, because he's still, excuse me, he still wouldn't have outsped Necrozma, I think, even if he's Scarfed. And, yeah. There's the Draco. That's not going to be anywhere near enough, and we are going to hit a Knock Off on this thing, get rid of its uh, Soul Dew, actually. Okay, interesting. Do you have any healing at all? That's what I'm curious about. Uh, Salamence can definitely sweep. It's just I need damage. Huh. Alright, let's go Jirachi. I'm gonna go into Jirachi. The, the reason that knockoff did nothing, by the way, guys, was because he has an Aurora Veil up and I'm burned. So that's that makes complete sense. Um, but he can't switch in his uh, Ninetales ever right now. Also, Tarina does lower Bibril's attack as it attacks it with Trop Kick, so that's good. Uh, he's going to go for another Draco, that's fine. I'm going to go for a Wish, and we are going to attempt to pass this into Muk if he stays in, and Serena if he switches out. Uh, let's go into Muk. Now his Aurora Veil is no longer up, and he's going to go out into Bibril. Okay, so this is extremely scary. I need to go hard into Serena right now. I cannot even think about it. It's got to be right now. And I got to just hit a Trop Kick. Uh, as he goes for the Swords Dance, goes up to plus four. We are going to go for the Trop Kick, lower this thing's attack. I, I don't think I can knock it out with a Trop Kick. I'm going to be honest with you guys. He's going to go out into Nine Tails and sack it off. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. Uh, he lost his Soul Dew on Latias, so I don't think he can take me out. Sand Slash comes in. This thing's scary. Uh, I'm going to go hard into Jirachi here. He doesn't have Hail up, though, so that's good. Uh, and he's going to forfeit. We're actually going to pick that one up, and we go up to 1502. All right. Uh, where are we now? I think we're back where we were. Let's get one more. Let's let's try to make it up on the ladder, because I'm not I'm not uh, satisfied with getting back to where we were when we started. You know what I mean? Uh, two wins, one loss shouldn't do that to you. We're back to 11th, so I need to win this game. And this man has an Araquanid. This is going to be very, very difficult to win the game. Um... It's not Trick Room. He's got a Mega Arrow. Dragon Dance, Flygon. Probably Spadef, Gliscor. How do I beat Gliscor? Oh god. I guess with Zard? Okay, I need Rocks up early. Like, very early in this game. Yeah, let's lead with uh, Jirachi. He's gonna lead with a Raquanid. That's what I feared. Um, I'm gonna go for Protect, because if this thing is Choiced, then I get to see what it locks itself into. If he goes for Liquidation, I can just switch out into Serena and U-turn after. As he's going to go... Okay, he goes for his own Protect. Uh, I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks then. He's going to switch out into Gliscor. That's absolutely fine. My Rocks are up now. 
and we are going to go into... Uh, I have no problem with going hard Zard, actually, on this thing. As he goes for sub. Okay, he's this set. I do not like this man already. Um, I'm going to... I have to go out into Muck on the Toxic. This thing is the most annoying thing ever. He's going to Baton Pass, actually. Huh. Okay, so he's not Toxic? He's still going to take the Rocks. And I'm still going to go for a knockoff, even if he goes for Quake. That's fine. He won't take me out. I need to break this sub, though. Okay, cool. And I'm going to go out into Serena. Um, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. He's not going to click Earthquake again, is he? I don't think he is. I'm going to go out into Necrozma. As he goes for a wing attack. Okay, good. Uh, Stone Edge could kill me, though. <laughs> That's something i got to watch out for. Um, let's just go for our own Stone Edge. He goes for Stealth Rocks, and he sacks off his Aerodactyl. Fantastic. Awesome. We still have our Spinner alive, too. Um, very nice. He let that happen. That was fantastic. <laughs> that was the best thing I could have asked for. He sacked off his biggest threat and his Stealth Rocker in the same turn. <laughs> That was amazing. Um, do I have any use for Necrozma? No, I'm going to Stone Edge again. I'm going to miss. Uh, and he's going to go for the knockoff, which is almost going to kill me. He's leftovers, so he's going to bullet punch me here, right? So let's go out into Serena. No, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, let's go out into Serena. He has to bullet. We, we're Queenly Majesty, right? Please tell me we're Queen. Oh, God, we're Leaf Guard. Why didn't I check my abilities before I started this? <laughs> the only one I checked was Poison Touch. No! Am I even Blaze? I don't know. Alright, let's go for the Rapid Spin. Uh, it's a good thing he didn't Bullet Punch anyway. Uh, he's going to go for the U-Turn. It's going to do a lot, but we're going to get rid of his rocks in the process. He's going to go out into Gliscor, which is fine. I'm going to go for the Trop Kick. Let's see if it breaks the sub. It does not. Okay, that's fine. We're going to go for another Trop Kick. He's going to go for Swords Dance. He's going to try to Baton Pass this out. Uh, but I'm going to just keep Trop Kicking him. If he wants to... Uh, okay, we actually get a crit there. Awesome. Uh, let's go for another chop kick. He's gonna go for another sub. Can we keep critting him? Possibly? Yes. Amazing. We're, sc we're scope lens. All right. Uh, we got- Wow! <laughs> Yo, what? Crit city right now. <laughs> let's see. Uh, we don't crit him that time. That's fine. Another chop kick will break the sub no matter what he passes into. So I'm not concerned. If he goes into a Raquinid, it is gonna- Okay, he's gonna facade me. Uh, it's not gonna do enough. He's probably just going to click sub again. So I'm actually going to synth. There's the sub. Here's the drop kick. He goes for another swords dance. His facade is still not going to kill though. He's going to go for another SD. Okay. Uh, I need a way to break this sub without sacking something. <laughs> Which is very difficult. Let's go for drop kick. Uh, does he even have earthquake? No, he doesn't. Wow, can he even touch Jirachi? That's the question. Let's go for Chop Kick again. He's going to Facade. Uh, he's going to put us down really low. Uh, and what I'm going to do is... Huh. Can... I'm, I'm wondering if Stone Edge can break this thing sub. This is Stab, so it goes to 105. But this has way more attack. Yeah, let's go to Necrozma. He's going to click sub again. That's fine. We're going to go for the Stone Edge. We need to land. I need to connect this right now. As he's actually faster than us. What? I'm 257. Okay. Um, Jirachi's pretty defensive, though. I could probably stall this thing out. Let's go for the Wish. Let's see if he attacks us. There's the facade. That's going to do a lot, but it's not going to do enough. And uh, how many facades does he have? 28? That's way too many. Let's go for the Protect. I need to break this thing sub right now. He's going to baton pass, actually. Uh-oh. Scizor? Is Scizor coming in? Is that it? As he's going to go out into Scizor. Yep, there it is. Let's go for the Iron Head. He's U-turn, though. And knock off. Ooh. That's not good. If only I was Queenly Majesty. Um, we do have, uh, we have Moxie now, so that doesn't help. Um, I can't break this thing sub, can I? Let's go for the Shadow Sneak. He's probably got Bullet Punch. Yep, there it is. And I need to go out into Charizard. I need to click Fire Blast, because nothing else breaks the sub. He's probably just going to click Knock Off. 
could click bullet punch too. Who knows? We're gonna miss the fire blast anyway. <laughs> Come on, man. Why? Didn't make a difference. All right, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. You know what? We're gonna make this a very, very long live. And I'm gonna keep going until we can get past where we were before. I kept critting his... <laughs> I kept critting his sub. That was fantastic. That was amazing. That was fun. But uh, I, I was really surprised that Necrozma wasn't able to outspeed. You see what a zoom roll would have done there? Like, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're, we're about to make a big modification to the team. Because Azumarill can kill rock types, uh, like Aerodactyl and stuff, anyway. So, let's go for a Z move. So, Belly Drum. Normalium Z. Normalium Z, Belly Drum, with Waterfall. Uh, actually, nope. Play Rough. Uh, Knock Off. And Aqua Jet. With an Adamant Nature. And we are going to give this thing... Uh, how much speed do I want? This should be fine. And then the rest there. Or there. And there. And yeah, because now it doesn't matter if you're even rod anymore because of this thing. And let's find one like this. Let's see if the adjustment to the team is going to help. Because now we have every core. We have Fire, Water, Grass. We have uh, Fairy, Dragon, Steel. And I think Azumarill is actually really, really going to help. Because I have a hard time taking down things like Gliscor and um, Aerodactyl, stuff like that. It's really difficult. And I don't think Necrozma does the job. So I think this is going to be the way to go. Let's see. Uh, really unfortunate that he baton passed there, man. Anyway, I'm going to pause it real quick, guys. We'll wait until we get one. All right, guys. We got one. And I think uh, Ethan's about to join us because I found him in a battle right here. <laughs> so, uh, luck of the draw, but... We got the same guy that we got before, and uh, with this adjustment, I think Azumarill is actually going to come through. Uh, what did he lead with before? I think he led with Fortress, possibly? Alright, I'm going to lead off with... I don't have Necrozma anymore. He led with Staraptor, actually. Let's lead off with Jirachi, as he leads off with Staraptor. Fantastic. Uh, let's get up our Stealth Rocks, I think. Right? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. He's going to go for the U-turn. That's not going to do much at all. We know we have the switch into Gengar, so I'm not concerned about that. He's going to go into Victini. I'm going to go for the Protect because I know this thing is Life Orb. And we'll see what he goes for. He goes for the V-Create. There it is. I do have a decent switch into this in Azumarill. It's not the best switch in, though. Uh, Glaciate could be coming my way. Energy Ball as well. Uh, let's see. Is he gonna go for another V create? Let's go into Azumarill. Let's see what he does. As he goes for the Bolt Strike. Wow. Okay, and he gets the Para. Fantastic. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go for Z Belly Drum. As he switches out to Chestnut. Awesome. And we get Parrot. Yep. Yep. <laughs> to be expected. Um, let's go into Zard. As he's probably gonna go for the Wood Hammer. There it is. He's not gonna let himself get hit. And uh, we're just going to go for a Fire Blast. Because we kill something. <laughs> Something's going to die. And I really hope it's his Empoleon. Because if I can keep Rocks up for the rest of the game, then he's going to have a very hard time maneuvering around my Mons. So we don't get to see uh, Zoomerill in action, unfortunately. Um, really sucks. What is uh, what is Ethan saying here? Okay. <laughs> Kamala's lit. I'm going to have to rewatch that game. What is he doing? Okay, he sacks off Fortress again. Great. I don't know what this fortress is. Um, seems to to like coming in on my Zard for some reason. There's the Raptor. Uh, I think he's gonna go for U-turn, but either way, I think I'm gonna just sack off Azumarill uh, because it doesn't do anything anymore. He goes for the U-turn. He doesn't knock me out. <laughs> wow. All right, there's Chestnut. We're gonna go for the play rough. I think he's gonna spike. Let's see. Does he just attack or does he spike up? He, I get full parrot and he goes for roar. Great. <sighs> All right, we're going for a U-turn. Take some rocky helmet. I'm gonna go right back out into Azumarill as he goes for a spike. I'm gonna go for play rough. He finally knocks me out with wood hammer and now Zard comes back in and gets another kill. So, yep, nothing you can do about that. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Um, I still have Muk for his Gengar. I still have Zard for his uh, Chestnut. And I still have Jirachi for his Staraptor. So th the biggest problem right now is his Life Orb Victini. But even that, it, it's it's not outspeeding Mints. So there's that. Uh, and he just let his only Earthquake switch and die. So there's also that. Uh, Mints is about to sweep up his team as soon as Staraptor dies. So what I'm actually going to do is um, probably just Fire Blast here as he goes for Double Edge. Beautiful. And now we're going to bring in Jirachi. And we are going to click Iron Head. And if he goes for uh, Double Edge again, then his Staraptor is gone. And then we get to go into Mints and just spam Earthquake which is fantastic. So, yeah. Uh, I think I need to weaken Victini a little bit, though. There's Empoleon. He's going to go out into that. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go for a hard switch into Muck, potentially. Yeah, let's hard switch into Muck. As he goes for a Defog, probably. No, he goes for a knockoff. Okay, gets rid of my Assault Vest. That's fine. I'm going to go for my own knockoff. If he wants to Defog, that's cool. Because I'm still going to switch... Okay, he's going to go for Stealth Rocks for some reason. Uh, because at this point, it doesn't do anything. That's that's what I'm really like weirded out about. Why is he going for Stealth Rocks when it doesn't do anything anymore? He's going to go for uh, Skull. Does he get the burn? He does. I really don't care. I, I really don't care because I know that his uh, Gengar is Life Orb already. So it doesn't make a difference to me. He can't switch anything in on my knockoff. Because everything will die. Uh, or not die, but it'll be very close. He's going to go for a Roar into my Serena. Beautiful. We're going to go for the Rapid Spin right here. Uh, actually, I'm going to go for a Trop Kick. Uh, because at least I get the Gengar. So, let's do that. We're able to hit that thing pretty hard. Uh, Curse Body disables that. Alright. Uh, we're just going to go into Muck. Uh, I don't think I can take a Shadow Ball plus Shadow Ball. But we'll see. And, uh, yeah. I mean, this game is over already. There's nothing he can do. Unless he defogs away the hazards. That's the only way he wins. Uh, I'm going to go into Ments. We are going to click Earthquake. Uh, we already know he's Life Orb. And as long as he doesn't get the Cursed Body, then we're fine. He's going to lose his... Okay, he does get the Cursed Body, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to switch into something here. Uh, he's going to go into Staraptor and let it die. Okay, beautiful. Uh, I just have to bring back in Ments, basically. This game is over. Yeah, there we go. All right, awesome. So we get that one. We are at 1489. Why am I still... Okay, I'm getting one more. I don't care. I don't care how long this live is, guys. Honestly, I don't care. If you're still watching, thank you so much. If you're not anymore, then... I guess you didn't hear this, but... <laughs> oh. Man, this... Uh... Who's still playing? Let's see. Is Ethan still playing? Is he there? No, he's not. He's not on that list. What about here? Who's this? Oh, this is, isn't this the guy that we lost to? Shiny Chimchar 1616? 16, yeah, that's this guy. Oh, no, that's Devolving. Yeah, we lost to both of these guys. These are the two that we lost to. The Mega Slowbro and the uh, the Baton Passing Gliscor. Let's see who beats who. Knockoff. Leftovers. Yep. And uh, I think this thing is dead to a... No, it's not dead to a U-turn. Why would you try to set up while the, the Quagsire is still alive? That's what I don't understand. Is a Raquinid coming in here? It should. In theory. Anyway. Uh, this is Ethan's game. Where's my game? Why am, I not why am I not getting a game? Hurry up, guys. We're just watching this. You know what? I'm going to pause. We'll be right back. All right, guys. And we get one. And my opponent knows my team because he was watching one of my battles before. I already know that. So, I have to be careful. Um... Why does he not have a switch into play rough? Like, actually. Alright. Um, We're going to lead off here with a Azum with Azumarill, actually. Uh, as he leads off with Persian. Beautiful. And I can go for the knockoff turn one. As he goes for parting shot, I'm expecting the Gengar to come in. Curse Body is actually really annoying. Because it, like, always works for some reason. <laughs> it, like, always works. It's crazy. It's like a 75% chance. I don't even know what the actual amount is, but he's not going to want to switch anything but Gengar into a play rough. That's why I went for uh, knockoff. And even if he switches something else in, uh, it doesn't matter. There's the knockoff. We get rid of its item. Does he get the curse body? No, he does not. Either way, Muck is my switch into this always, every single time. What? What's wrong? Why? 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 Wait, what? 
Oh my god. Really? Again? Yo, I'm titling this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Why do I do this to myself? He's gonna go for a sub. It doesn't matter. You're, you're still dead. <laughs> what? What are you doing? You're Gengar. Actually, I'm gonna Shadow Sneak. There we go. Beautiful. I don't even have to take damage. Amazing. In comes Kirim. I'm Assault Vest. I'm going for knockoff. What are you gonna do? You're not a threat. Don't nickname your Pokemon Threat. He goes for Fusion Bolt. That is a threat. Do we get the poison? Ah, Choice Band. Oh, I see. Um, I don't need this anymore. Just go for the sneak. Get the poison. There we go. Fusion Bolt. Yep. And uh, now that you are poisoned, uh, I'm going to go out into... We knew you were Choice Banded. So I'm going out into Zard and I'm firing off a Dragon Pulse. Alolan Muk. Yes. Is a lad. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> And we're going to go for the Dragon Pulse to knock this thing out. Beautiful. I expect uh, either a Slenderous or this thing to <laughs> more threats. Let's go into Jirachi because we eat this thing's hits up. And uh, actually, Jirachi can just get up rocks now. He's going to go for Brave Bird. That's going to do absolutely nothing. And his hazard removal is non-existent. Stealth rocks are going up. In comes Persian. I don't care about this. I'm going for Protect in case he's Z-move. And uh, we should be fine. Um... I'm expecting, like, Z-move Dark Pulse. Let's see. As he's gonna go for Foul Play. Okay, that's fine. We can switch into uh, a Zoomerill on that. Yeah, we can always switch into a Zoomerill on this. Goes for the Parting Shot. Like, I don't even care. He's gonna take repeated rock damage. He has to go into Thunderous, and I have a, a perfect switch into this in Serena. Like, I'm not even concerned. He's gonna go for Thunderbolt. That's fine. He's Life Orb. Uh, I'm going to switch out into Jirachi on the Hidden Power Ice. Uh, as he actually goes for Nasty Plot. Ooh. Okay. All right. I see you. Um, I have Immense, though, so I'm not too concerned. I'm just going to go for Wish. He's going to go for T-Bolt. That's fine. He's going to take a round right there. I'm going to go for Iron Head on his next Nasty Plot, which is what I'm expecting to come out. He's actually going to go for... Oh, that sucks. Goes for Focus Blast and misses. Ouch. Uh, as now, I'm going to go for another Wish as he goes for a T-Bolt, and he actually gets a roll and knocks me out there. How much did the last one do? 77. Wow. Uh, yeah, that was a heck of a roll. I mean, I'm not huge power. God damn it. Um, doesn't Mens just sweep? Like, actually, doesn't Mens just sweep? Yeah, I'm just gonna go into Choice Scarf Mens. And he's at 27, so he only has one Life Orb hit left in him anyway. I'm gonna go for the D-Claw. We're gonna get the Moxie. And I'm assuming his Persian is gonna come in. Uh, no, he's gonna go into Keldeo. Let my Azumarill come in? Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's always fun. He's gonna forfeit. Okay, so we win that one as well. We're up to we gained six points from that man. Come on. Okay, this is fixed now. It's huge power. We would have knocked out that Gengar immediately. That's real. That really sucks. All right, Hunzi, Hunzi. All right. Um. See, now I have a Weavile switch and I have a Zumarill, and a Zumarill heals itself with Z. With oh, I love this thing. All right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let's, um, let's not lead with Jirachi, because Jirachi loses to everything. Uh, let's lead off with, I'm gonna lead off with Zard, as he leads off with Magneton. Beautiful. Um, I'm gonna go out into Serena in case this thing is Scarfed. If he switches out, then he's not Scarfed. He could be sturdy, too, for all I know, because there aren't a lot of Steel types in this tier. Uh, he's gonna switch out, okay, so he's scared of me, which means he's definitely not a uh, thing. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Trop Kick as he switches out into the Necrozma. Beautiful. Gonna get some damage off on that. Lower its attack. He's probably gonna go for a for Stealth Rocks. Yep. And I'm gonna Trop Kick again. And then we're gonna go for the Rapid Spin as he goes for T Wave, which is a little bit annoying. A little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go for another Trop Kick. That's fine. You can Stealth Rock all you want. Uh, you can't really do anything to me though, can you? Unless you're Psychic, then you can do something to me. You can do a little bit of something to me, not too much. Uh, he's going to switch out into Talonflame. I get Parrot. Fantastic. Going to go out into Jirachi. Uh, actually, that's a really bad play. What if he goes for a fire move? What if? Um, I fully expect Brave Bird, though. I can live anything from this thing, though, right? Let's go for Rapid Spin. He goes for Swords Dance. Uh, he loses his Gale Wings ability as a result of that. So that's great. Uh, I'm going to now switch into Jirachi on the Flying-type move. 
as he goes for a roost actually to gain back his gale wings uh it's fine though because as soon as he hits me with anything he loses that ability so i can just go into do i go into muck yeah muck doesn't actually do anything this game so i'm just gonna switch into it uh he's gonna go for the flare blitz almost knocked me out do, do we get the poison no we don't i'm gonna go for shadow sneak because we're faster um with the priority of course that's what i mean that's what i meant guys you know what i meant we're gonna get a crit on this talon flame he's gonna go for acro all right so he's acro uh that's fine i still knocked this thing out with uh with aqua jet so i'm all good we'll go for the jet right here he is gonna switch out into his necrozma that's absolutely fine uh i think i'm just going to switch out into nothing does belly drum just win i think belly drum just wins does Flygon die? I've never ran this calc because Flygon's never been in the same tier as <laughs> Um, Choice Bandit, let's say. Fully offensive versus Azumarill. Uh, belly... Azumarill. Belly Drum at plus six. Yep, yeah, it does it. Um, let's just drum without using the Z-move. He's gonna go for Stealth Rocks. Bad play. Unless he's sturdy. Unless he's sturdy. That's the only way that was a good play. Uh, do you die? Necrozma. Do you die to Aqua Jet? Yes, you do. Let's go for it. I'm gonna be able to knock this thing out. I'm gonna be able to knock out Weavile. I'm gonna be able to knock out the Blastoise. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Big hopefully right there. Um, yeah, this should die, no problem. I wish I had more speed on this. I'd be able to outspeed Blastoise. God damn it. Why am I not thinking about that? All right, we're able to knock out the Necrozma, which is awesome. And, um... Good news is that Blastoise probably won't be able to knock me out. As he goes into Magneton. Okay, so you're definitely sturdy, right? No. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Cool stuff. He loses his Magneton. Are we gonna win this one? <laughs> I'm not, I'm just, like, I'm being perfectly honest with you guys. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna win. <laughs> just, just to be on the real. Uh, we're gonna go for play rough here. Unless he's mega, he's not knocking me out with anything. And even if he is, like, I resist all his hits. Uh, he goes for scald. Play rough is going to knock him out right there. Shard does not do the job onto this. There is no way that Ice Shard kills this. Yep, there we go. And we are gonna take that one. We are at 15-10, ladies and gentlemen. We are... Number eight. <laughs> it's still not number three or number four, but I'm in top ten and I'm past tenth place. You know what? I'm gonna take it. Honestly, with everything that happened this episode, with all the mismatched abilities and everything, uh, if you guys, again, if you're still around and you're watching this, if you enjoy watching me just uh, be myself uh, on these recordings, then thank you so much. Uh, I, I hate when I get sappy like this, but seriously, thank you guys so much for, for watching this. Uh, if you do like the team, uh, I don't know if it's an exact, uh, replica of the team. I did, I did replace Necrozma anyway with Azumarill, so it doesn't really matter, but I'll try to leave a paste bin as well as a link to the uh, original video featuring this team in the description down below. TTM's channel will be there as well. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao!